Hi, I'm Paul from PDH Sports, leading online racket specialist, and today I'm doing a product review on the new Technofiber Dinergy Apex range. So this range is available from the end of February 2019. It's a new look for this season. For me, it's something that I think Technofiber has been sort of, well, I've been calling out for. It's a slightly more traditional looking racket. Uh, as you can see here, slightly more, a thicker shaft than say the Carboflex. So what that is gonna give you is um, a much more forgiving frame. So it's gonna really be suited to a wider range of club players. It's saying jumbo shaft, that's the sort of, uh, the technology name behind it. Uh, all three rackets are the same in terms of the thickness. As you can see, it's, we've, it's lost the old powering stringing pattern that were on the old Dinergies and gone in favor of a more sort of traditional stringing pattern, which I think works well with the racket. It's got arch power technology here, which is supposed to give, um, again, a more sort of forgiving, uh, powerful string bed. The 120 and the 130, they both come with a slightly head heavy balance. Now I'm gonna do, give them a full review and hit some balls, but certainly in, in the hand, they don't in any way feel heavy. But um, again, I think like the reason they've put a little bit more weight towards the head is, is really just to give the club player the more sort of forgiving, powerful feel and also maintain a little bit more strength in the racket. So I guess like some club players would hit the wall more, so hopefully that'll give a little bit more strength. They come with the new orange X1 biophase string. The 135 comes with Technofiber synthetic gut. Also new this season, uh, they've got a new squash tacky grip. So uh, again, off the sort of initial feel, then it feels Feels nice, quite soft and tacky. Final part really is the construction. It's a really sort of high modulus graphite carbon construction. So yeah, I'm gonna take these on court and uh, put them through the paces and see how they play. Right, I'm starting, starting today's review off with the 135. So this is the heaviest out of the three new Dinergy rackets. It doesn't have a super heavy feel. There's certainly, you can feel a bit more weight towards the head, but I think that, that would help a lot, of, a lot of club players. This makes it a little bit easier to uh, deliver the head to the ball. This one just comes with standard string. The retail price on this racket is 100 pounds, so this is also the cheapest one. Yeah, so on these length shots, no, no real complaints. It's really smooth off the racket. Very, very large sweet spot. Exactly what these rackets are aimed for. They're very, I'm finding it quite easy, quite easy to, uh, quite easy to hit the ball. Nice, nice forgiving feel. Taking the 135 now. Um, through its short shots. So, I guess on paper, this is not where the racket should, is aimed to excel. And, um, but it, it's playing pretty well. Like, quite a soft feel. Um, but, I would say, you know, I quite like these rackets. I think like, uh, like I said earlier, I think Technofiber, uh, uh, needed to produce a sort of slightly more forgiving racket than the Carboflex. Um, which they now, which they, they have always had, had the Dinergy rackets, but they were an unusual stringing pattern and shape. Whereas this is much more uh, traditional, if I dare say it, but it's almost like a Prince style racket but without the uh, powering string of the pattern. So, you know, I think these, uh, yeah, these have got, this, this one, I mean, so considering this has got the basic string in it, uh, feel pretty confident taking this ball in. 
nice consistent feel. So that would help to, uh, uh, with your short shots because it's not pinging off in like loads of different feels. It's the same feel. So albeit it's not as much control as the Carboflex, uh, it's, uh, it's consistent enough to, for you to really sort of work this ball well in, into the short shots. Okay, so now now I've got the, the 130 in my hand. So you've got an extra 30 pounds on the retail price. So I think this is going to retail at 130. Um, so first of all, this has got the X1 buyer phase. So that's the one thing that kind of stands out as a difference. Uh, it's got a slightly I can just get a little bit more feel. Uh, there's not much difference in terms of the weight. I mean, it's five grams from the 135, so they both play fairly similar. I think the, the balance is a little bit different, but not massively. I think uh, if you strung the 135 up with biophase, they would play fairly similar. So. But now as I'm hitting it through its length, there's quite a lot of power and you can feel that head heavy balance. But compared to the Carboflex, which it's trying to sort of separate itself a little bit from, it's just got a slightly softer feel, more forgiving feel. And that's probably coming from that extra sort of chunkier uh, jumbo shaft on the racket. Okay, so I've got the 130 now. This is where it, it's a little bit difficult because the 130 and the, the uh, 135, um, apart from the string, you know, they're quite, they're, they're, they're the slightly heavier rackets. Um, not massive masses of difference uh, you know I mean it's early days not, not hit a million of shots but um, on this initial test you know I quite like I maybe favor the balance of the one one three five but I'd probably have to swing it up with the better three taking the 120 uh, on the length. Now, a lot of you will know from my previous reviews, I, I favor a slightly lighter racket. Um, and this is the, this one, you can tell the difference compared to the other two. So uh, it doesn't feel particularly head heavy because it's, it's a lot lighter, but, um, the balance is still more going towards the head, but there's a significant difference for me in terms of the, fit, of the overall playability of the racket compared to the 130 and 135. So maybe uh, slightly harder to get as much power because the timing's, the timing's harder uh, on my straight length here. But again, for me, as soon as I put a lighter racket on it, I just, I just feel like I have more fun with it. Uh, but you certainly will lose a touch bit of control. But as we take it into the short, shorter stuff, uh, that's where you, know, you gain from the slightly lighter racket. It's been a little bit inconsistent for me, so. Uh, Strangely, uh, I actually felt like I've got a little bit more control on my drops uh, with the slightly heavier frames. Um, I think the 120, you know, is certainly better on the volley in, but uh, the slightly he heavier models uh, just giving it a little bit more. Yeah, you know, I talked about that consistent feel off the racket. I've had, I've had a few different feel on this 120, one minute 
it's flown off and the next minute it's a bit softer. Okay, so there you have it. That, this is uh, the uh, first look at the new Dinergy Apex 2019 squash rackets. Just to really wrap up and conclusion, um, the 135, like I, I've been trying to think in my head which one I would like. I think, I guess I would probably use the 120. Um, I like the light rackets. Uh, I like the fact it's the sort of higher end racket. Um, I thought the 135 actually played really well. So price point wise, it's going to be the sort of the lower of the three. So it's a really good option. And you know, even though it doesn't come off straight away with the biophase string, it's something that you can always add to. So, you know, it might be really well suited to someone that's not wanting to blow the budget on the top of the range. But certainly now what Technifiber have done is, in my eyes, they've entered themselves more into um, their sort of more forgiving club player racket. Um, you know, so they're gonna be sort of uh, now have a really strong racket other than the Carboflex that, as you've seen from a lot of my recent sort of either vlogs or reviews we've done, um, it's now got a racket that um, Will, will sort of give something a little bit more forgiving than the Carboflex. So not huge amounts of difference other than the string in the 130 and the 135. There's certainly the way it plays, the 120 plays very different. Like I said, I, I was getting more consistent feel off the heavier models and I think that was because the weight makes it easier to use. The 120, uh, I had a few issues, certainly controlling the ball to the front of the court. Um, I didn't, to the back, it was fine. Uh, maybe not as powerful as these other two, but um, you know, this, the way this racket was, for me is gonna sort of stick out is like, I like to volley and I just find it more maneuverable um, and easier on the arm. But, but yeah, so you've got three, three good options now available. I say really aimed, um, I mean, don't get wrong, the, the 120 is very much top end, but it's really aimed at club players wanting a racket that is going to be super easy to use but has all the sort of highest quality that Technifiber can put into their frames. So this is the new Dinergy Apex 2019 models and they are now going to be available at pdhsports.com.